All right, everyone. So today is day three of building System Sculpt. Uh, yesterday, we added right click context, as you can see here. And today, we're making the AI way smarter with custom personalities, system prompts. So I built something pretty cool for this. So let me show you the difference that it makes. So we're going to chat with this PDF file. You can see that it's been extracted and all that. Um, first, let's see how our default AI handles research papers. So by default, I mean just the typical general use that comes, you know, pre-selected. And so we're going to analyze this deep learning for early detection of diabetic retinopathy. Um, quite the subject. So, you know, I dragged it in and it's already extracted. So now let's just do the um, ask here for the AI. I'm going to use speech to text here. Analyze this paper's methodology and key findings. Focus on the machine learning aspects. And, you know, just so that you understand, I'm going to be primarily, you know, instead of typing, which takes a lot of time, I'm going to be using speech to text uh, whenever I'm filling things out. So, boom, enter. Okay, we're using GPT 4.0. So while it's thinking, you'll notice that this is using, again, like I showed you, the default general purpose AI personality. Um, it'll get the basic points. As you can see, it's, it's you know, doing a pretty good job, but you know, you can see how it misses the machine learning details of everything. So, you know, you can see what I mean. Like, yeah, it, it mentioned CNNs and stuff, but you know, it, it's getting a decent summary, you know, but uh, there's no analysis of the neural architecture, you know, specifics about it. No discussion of the training approach, not even mentioning like the validation methods. So let me show you how to fix this. Okay. So we're going to open up the system prompt modal here. We'll create a specialist, okay? So we're gonna click this little plus icon here. And um, yeah, the specialist is going to basically know exactly what to look for in ML research. So yeah, we're just gonna name it here. Let's name it ML Research Analyzer. And boom, there we go, okay? Let's remove the period there. And, um, you know, we want it focused specifically on machine learning papers, right? So now here's where things get really interesting, okay? So the template's broken down into sections, as you can see. Um, let me show you what to exactly put in each one of these, okay? So I'll type these out so that you can see exactly how it works, or I'll talk these out, I guess. So first, under role and goal, um, let me say, let's remove this. And just let's say, you are an expert in machine learning research analysis focused on healthcare applications. Your purpose is to critically evaluate ML papers, assess their methodological rigor, and identify practical clinical applications. Okay, and boom. Okay, I'm gonna remove that little say part because that got caught in my um, speaking there. And so, you know, this sets us up for, or sets the AI up to focus specifically on ML papers in healthcare, okay? So obviously already we're way more specific than the default. So next up we have the core abilities, okay? Um, we need three main skills for machine learning paper analysis. So let's start with the first one, ML methodology analysis, evaluate neural architecture choices training approaches and validation methods. Okay, so that is our first one. And uh, yeah, let's just make sure it looks at the technical ML details. Let's just make that as a little bullet point there. Next one, healthcare context, assess clinical relevance and practical implementation challenges. Okay. Okay, let's fix the formatting there. And then last but not least, the third one, let's do statistical rigor. Examine sample sizes, data quality, and significance of results. All right. So those are the core abilities. And so, you know, this last one ensures that we get proper, you know, statistical analysis. Anyway, um, next up we have communication style. Okay. So now for communication style, this is crucial really for getting the right format. Um, so for this part, let's start off with tone. And for the tone, usually I like to go for hmm, probably technical, right? So technical, but accessible to medical professionals. That is a little uh, bug you're seeing there. 
um, because I have my hotkey to um, page up when it comes to, you know, speech to text toggle. So don't mind that too much. Um, let's see, language. Let's do language. ML terminology with clinical context. All right. And then let's move on to guidelines here. Okay. So for guidelines, um, usually for guidelines, we want another three. I always do these in like threes. Okay. So um, let's do uh, always evaluate both ML performance metrics and clinical relevance. Number two, focus on data set quality and potential biases. And then number three, ensure reproducibility concerns are addressed. Yeah. And so yeah, I'm not even gonna bullet point that. The AI will you know, understand that. And then for constraints, uh, and this one, this last part is really important because it's essential for basically the research validity, okay? Um, you know, it, it just keeps the AI focused on making sure that whatever it's generating is exactly how we want it. Um, this meshes very well with the communication style of things, right? Uh, so for this part, um, let's just do something real simple here. Avoid clinical recommendations, focus on analysis, not medical advice, stay within evidence, discuss what's supported by the paper's data, and flag data limitations. Highlight any data set or methodology constraints. Cool. So there we go. That's all written out. All right, so now we just click Create. And boom, you get the success little dialog there. Click OK. And we have it already loaded in, ML Research Analyzer. So you can see it's already loaded in. We can click Save. And now for the interesting part. So let's try that same exact paper again, right? We have it all extracted here in the same exact message. So one you know, nice thing that we can do is we could just resubmit a message. Are you sure you want to resubmit this message? Resubmit, and then it basically puts it back into your uh, text box here. And yeah, um, let's see what the results are here. So you know, while it's working, you can notice that uh, we didn't change the question at all. We're just changing the personality here, right? And so now it's primarily going to be talking about the actual machine learning data analysis. Now, you know, you can see already, this is what we needed. You can see the huge difference already. It's breaking down the neural architecture that they chose. Um, it's questioning their validation approach and it's highlighting potential data set biases. It's even suggesting like specific improvements for their methodology you can you can see like the evaluation here the key findings it's giving nice strengths but also showing limitations it has a nice conclusion so this is way more useful for you know my particular interests regarding this research work um so yeah it's it's really really nice to have um all of these different time kinds of personalities really whether it's focusing on one specific aspect of um you know, a specialist such as a machine learning specialist, right? Now we can see, you know, performance statistics, key findings, so on and so forth. It's really, really nice. Um, you can apply this to things like code reviews, data analyses, technical writing, I mean, honestly, whatever you need, right? Um, you just have to change those template sections that we were, you know, editing earlier and just match them to whatever you're looking for. It's just straight up English, right? So it's, it's you know, very, very useful uh, tool. And, you know, you can set not only um, defaults here, which, you know, these are pretty default, but you can also, as I showed you earlier, create a uh, new one. So that's today's video. Just wanted to show you that. And yeah, um, tomorrow we are diving into audio. So I'll show you how to, you know, or I'll show you how Systems Scope handles recording, transcription, and everything in between, okay? So if you work with voice notes or recordings or like to have that kind of quick mobile experience of recording and having everything transcribed, you know, tomorrow's definitely a, a really important day uh, to showcase all that for you. Um, but more importantly, uh, now I'd love to hear from you. How do you use system prompts? 
I mean, what kind of AI personalities would help your workflow? Drop a comment below and, you know, obviously join us on the Discord. We're always, you know, discussing everything there uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, obviously, your, your feedback shapes what I build next. It's extremely important. So, yeah, that's about it. That's day three of 365 days. Um, yeah, hit subscribe to follow along and I will see you tomorrow.